hi guys and welcome to another video from the Jamaican Shopify store builder and I've had persons ask a lot about influencer marketing and you know finding influencers how to check their um, how to check that they are good influencers and what to do to verify you know that the sales you're getting are, um, is actually coming from a particular influencer so let's start let's get started so the first thing you need to do is to ensure that you have an Instagram account and not only that you have an Instagram account but that your Instagram account is congruent with your store for example um, if you have a store in the cat niche let's say your store is um, I love cat central and you have an Instagram account your Instagram account should not be um, something about dogs or you know your personal account but it should say I love cat central should have hashtag I love cat central um, that's your own special hashtag so that persons can find you persons can tag you in images and stuff related to your store and well that's that's basically it needs to be congruent so you need to um, give persons a bit of information about your store as well um, when you're when you make your Instagram account that is the payment methods you accept um, where you ship to if there are any promotions taking place stuff like that pretty easy um, you'll actually edit that under your profile settings um, I'm not gonna go into editing Instagram profile or editing your Instagram profile now because um, this is actually a very short video that's gonna show you how to go about finding the influencers checking to ensure that they are good to work with and that you would actually get sales from them so first and foremost you need to search for a keyword in your niche so if you're on mobile then you know that the Instagram look on your mobile is a bit different from the one here that I have but the operation is basically the same so first we would search and you could go by hashtag or you could just type in um, a keyword so let's say cats or cat and this is an account cats of Instagram but hashtag cats let's try that it says 43 42,900 oh excuse me 42,933,040 posts so what you want to do now is go on each image and check the engagement and you want images with very high engagement over like 2000 likes and a few hundred comments so like this one this has 22,000 likes 22,229 likes and this was posted two hours ago and this is the account cat lovers club 1.1 million and they do these people do um, shout outs you can see here it says pet lovers club at gmail.com for business inquiries so what I do is I'd say something like hi um, I found your account on Instagram and I have to say I really love your engagement and your content and I was wondering if you actually do um, paid promotions or shout outs if you do I really would love to work with you um, 
hit me up let me know your your price range and let's see if we can form a partnership or we can work together it's quick easy it's nothing too complicated and you just send that to their email you could also send it to um, their inbox or their DM but just to validate that this account actually is um, great for cats or for cat lovers um, and great for your products what you need to do is check the average engagement on the site so this one has 30 nearly 31,000 likes in seven hours and they are doing a promotion here so yes this is a, a promotion it says 24 hours grab yours um dailypalmeo.com they you probably shouldn't do this bit here but um could have them put the link in your bio and let's see what they're selling here should be that cat bag that's a cute cat hoodie Okay, it says thousand sold, only a few pieces left. Shipping worldwide, all color options available. So th this this is a really really good um description to work with. This one here, a good caption to work with. Um, you really shouldn't have um influencers put your link in their bio but to have them put it in your um have them send them to yours just like what these guys are doing the reason is you want those first on um, these persons to engage with your page follow your page and become um followers of you and your store so you pay for the customers once and you keep the customers after so this is the cute cat hoodie it's a daily palm meal for 5% off. This is a hoodie. They are using Horrify. This is their, um, their, um, trust bar. I really could uninstall this one here but yeah they, they are um, they are doing well here with this so this is a good promotion you can see their top bar is a bit crowded is their side straight to the products and oh, there we go but yeah they're they're doing well this is a good promotion now um as a rule of thumb you probably should avoid um all right this is what we are looking for 94,000 likes I was just about to say that as a rule of thumb when you find an influencer the engagement on their post should be between 7 and 10 percent um you could you can work with persons who have lower engagement but that's up to you that's what you're comfortable with but the ideal range is above 7 percent um, the reason being is you'll find that um, about 10% of the persons who are un who engage with their posts will um, click through to your site. So let's crunch a few numbers. 
so here we have roughly 31,000 persons who um, liked this image or this post and 10% or just about that will go to the site so the site will have around 3,100 visitors of which another 10% or so um, that's just about the conversion right here about another 10% will add to cart so you're looking at 310 persons adding to cart and then um, depending on the store and the checkout process you'll have a conversion rate of around 1 to 7 percent and sometimes even less than 1 percent so we're gonna go to the highest end of the the, the margin and go 7 percent so this says 21 points that's around 21.5 21.7 cost um customers making a purchase so rounding down because this is the real world and you never round up in the real world um you'll have around 21 customers making a purchase now if you're selling something that costs um say 10 bucks or let's say we're selling this t-shirt this very catty um, hoodie at $38.95 um, so $21 at $38.95 that's about $800 in sales um this is a hoodie and if they're using custom fulfillment then we're looking at say twenty dollar twenty to twenty five dollars in fulfillment costs so um let's check that out So fulfillment costs twenty five dollars. That will leave you with about two hundred and ninety two dollars in profits. And let's say that you paid a hundred dollars for this shout out. So you'll end up with nearly two hundred dollars in profit from one shout out of this caliber. Now, of course, persons um um will have different results as this here is seven hours this one is um 14 hours twice the amount of time more than twice the engagement nearly three times the engagement and We could see if that's typical. Um, this is something you probably shouldn't do. Um, fashion with these, but they're doing it. They had eighteen thousand likes, so at ten percent, that's one thousand eight hundred visitors. Cut that down again, one hundred and eighty converts. Um, at 10% um, we're looking at 18 sales so it's not bad alright so that one post was 90,000 that looks like it was a stray post so you want to check at least three posts to see um, the the average engagement range, which seems to be falling closer to thirty to fifty thousand. Look at this huge ass cat. <laughs> look at it. Now let's look at this cat. It's huge. <laughs> mm. 
What is she feeding that cat? That's not a cat. That's a lion. <laughs> or a wild cat. Something in nature that's wild and rowdy. Look at it. It's huge. Excuse my ramblings. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out another. Um, let's see if we can find another influencer. So, we're at Cat Lovers Club and we want more cat influencers in this range. So, we just go here beside follow and hit the down arrow. And it shows us all the other pages. So, first thing cats of Instagram 7.7 .7 million followers do they um, do promotions mm, we're not seeing anywhere to contact them but you could send them a direct message and hope for the best chances are with this many followers you won't get through that easily and we can see the engagement on um, the videos 240,000 um, views in five hours 305,000 views in seven hours 400,000 views in eight hours okay so if you were gonna do a promotion with these guys what you'd want to do is get a video you'd like you'd want to put together a nice small video um, probably demonstrating your product or a cat interacting with your product and then doing a shout out on that that would really really work well let's look at this 306,000 likes like doesn't get these are insane insane totally insane numbers and let's get back here so cats of instagram see at cat guru they have 21,000 followers with 534 likes so this this is um, they're probably selling selling um, these for themselves so this is not a page you want to work with mainly because the engagement is way too low way 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 too low here cats 76.4 thousand and they have no contact information so you'd have to DM these guys 610 likes in 15 hours 912 likes 807 likes um, for the amount of persons on this site the engagement is a bit too low not a bit but it's way too low way way too low so this person would not be a good influencer to use and here we just we're just going through until we find um another good influencer to use so this one is 501,000 um pleasant cats and friendly second is an overdose excuse me um sweetness okay no contact information again 15,000 all right it's not bad not bad in four hours 
21,000 in a day. So, um, this account is probably running at say a four percent engagement rate, um, there about. Okay, so here we have 48,000 in four days. So that's closer to the 10%. Okay, this is over the 10%. So it's averaging um, closer to, it's hovering between um, 7 and 9%. But seems that the post time or the time it takes for the post to get this amount of likes is a couple of days so you'd want to you'd want to do a promotion with this page for multiple days or say a week the least not that one day wouldn't be enough to get um some sales but um maximum exposure until the post dies down um takes about a week so here we probably should talk about um the half-life of a post and that's really just how long will the post take to get half the total number of likes or half the total number of average likes that the page gets on each post now this is important because if say you are working with an influencer that you think is great for your store but you can only pay for five hours but it will take at least 10 hours for um for your post to get half the amount of likes um half the average amount of likes that each photo or each post on that page gets then you might want to negotiate a better deal with that person um we're in this to make money it's not just though it's fun to make a post and um watch the persons come in it's all about maximizing your profit so it makes no sense um to not be able to get at least half the total amount of engagement possible on your post from these influencers right, so this one would be good um, he doesn't have a dedicated contact um, method so again working with the DM next we just hashtag cats again Cats, cats, cats of Instagram. Notice we have a couple showing up. We just saw this one and that one. Then hold the husky. Nope, that's a dog thing. So most likely the top six to seven posts will have the most engagement. Um, let's check this one here. White coffee cats. 1.4 million. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Mr. White is my name, but my friends call me coffee. I kick cancer's butt. <laughs> I'm a two-year British short hair boy. Okay. So you can contact these guys at Cute Cat Coffee. They do have a link in their description. Okay, so this is an app.
so this is 42,000 54,000 48,000 57 so this is hovering just around um, well this is less than 5% it's around closer to 3 I believe but the engagement is great it's great it's really good so excuse me you could use these guys but let's let's hop into another niche let's say we are vegans vegan so we hit the hashtag first and nine hundred and forty four K followers fully raw vegan um she doesn't look like the type that would um do shout outs one hour eight thousand likes in four hours six thousand or seven thousand so this account would be ideal for um shout outs for more than one reason so first let's look at her content um is there a self post so this is like a personal account um she might do a shout out but her engagement is so 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 much less than um than even two percent let's add let me do some quick math in my head um let's say this is nine let's say nine hundred and forty four thousand persons and i'm getting like nine thousand so that's right that's that's probably even less than one percent if that's good. Well, I'm I'm gonna go on a limb and say she's at around 0 0.008, 0 0.07 um percent engagement rate. But um, if you want a personal shout out, then she might 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 do it. She doesn't look like the type that will do that. Um, based on the type of post that she makes okay fully covered for you so she's promoting her youtube channel oh yeah and back we go One beauty. Nope. That's a company account. Maybe this one. Not sure the Jew. Seventy four thousand. Twelve thousand. All right. 15 year old vegan yummy dessert delicious okay so there is a way to contact this person they do food so they might be able to um, promote something good for you let's say you have some vegan food stuff like that you'd like to promote this account would be great for that literally great um, it's giving recipes and whatnot so Let's say you have even a vegan recipe book, then um, this account would be great. So guys, um, we've rambled a bit about 
finding these influencers, contacting them, what to look for, what to um to see out, um the type of caption you should use. Oh, so yes, for your type of caption, it should be close to um what the influencer would naturally post. So you don't want a post looking out of place. You want the the post to be recommended by the influencer. So it needs to look natural. It can't be um it shouldn't be this huge exorbitant blatant sale. Yes, you should give an irresistible offer. For example, let's say you have vegan jewelry and this account was um, more suited to jewelry um what you could do is say hey guys um check this out this awesome vegan um let's say it's a necklace this awesome vegan necklace is for free um i found it over at vegan world or at vegan world and they said it's okay for me to share it with you guys just hurry on over, click the link in their bio and claim yours before they're all out. Oh, P.S. You, you do need to pay shipping on these though. Easy. You could even put the price of shipping there. So you could like, P.S. You do need to pay like $5 shipping on these though. You'll end up with a lot, a lot, lot of sales that way versus huge sale over at here over at vegan world um pay only shipping on this bracelet or this necklace persons are a lot less likely to engage with those types of course additionally you need to have um the most realistic product images you can muster so the more your product is seen being used the more likely it is that it will sell so with um influencers that's doubly true for example let's look at this um let's look at this side here if we hop on over to aliexpress And we want a vegan cookbook because he's all about cooking so vegan cookbook yeah, they have none of that there I don't know why that doesn't surprise me but let's just say cookbook Of course we want five stars and up and we want the best orders so they don't have any for shame I mean it's just for shame let's go to Amazon if it's not on Amazon it's not on the internet vegan cook cook okay check this one out so this is for 99 cents the paperback is for $9.99 this one so they don't have any real images so looking at the paperback same thing so I'm looking for a book that has um,
so we're not seeing any um, persons holding the book or anything like that but that would be the best type of image also a side note if you do affiliate marketing this is also a great way to get leads um, just have them go to your um, page or have the influencer shout out this product and have them go to the product through Amazon from your link so another good way to make um, some income but yeah but the closer the images look to what they have the better it would be for you All right, so we've talked about engagement we've talked about the caption we've talked about the image um, now we need to know the feedback oh we've talked about um, the engagement or the, the conversion expectations now what we need to talk about is how to track where your sales are coming from so a good idea is to give each influencer their own discount code or coupon code and what you can do is um, you could for you to make the profit you want you could um, raise your price just a bit and then ensure that the discount code you give out brings it down exactly to what you want I know genius right <laughs> But yeah, so you give each influencer a specific discount code or you use one influencer per promotion day. And you can check where your sales are coming from on the item sales page. That is when the order comes in on Shopify, you click on the order to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It will tell you exactly where you got your customer. So guys, I really do hope this helped you and just go on out there, have realistic expectations. Um, don't expect to make $10,000 from say a guy with 21,000 followers and 500 persons liking his images. It is possible to make that much however it is not the norm the norm is a um, conversion rate of like 0 0.001 to 7 so you'll have thousands of customers clicking like on your image hundreds going to your site a few 10 a few in the tens um checking out and maybe high 20s to 50s making sales or more times than not less than that so take it with a grain of salt really do hope this was helpful and remember to like um like the the video subscribe to us share it with your friends share it with other persons who need help doing influencer marketing and who don't need any miss anything that would mislead them at this point in time all right guys so thank you for tuning in and see you next time